Hello and hi there, girl Miata. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is another Sony Decor Furniture Project. If you're not following my decor page on IG where I post all the pictures and little videos, please do so and I will drop my handle. So, I have been out of the game for a minute. Because of winter, it's not really the best environment to work outside with epoxy. So, I have to take a break from that. But I'm back again and this video is not an epoxy furniture makeover, you know, just using paint and all of the other things, but just as challenging. So hope you enjoy the video. Starting off here with 80 grit and then I move to 120 grit and then I'm just cleaning off the wood. Taking this bottom drawer handle off took me no less than 10 minutes of struggling. I use the Waverly chalk paint and the color is ink. And I use this thick brush and it really helps with the finish. I like how it looks. You wanna make sure that your brush is always damp, not too wet and also not too dry. Um, just somewhere in between that will really give you that smooth finish if it's too wet it will run everywhere and if it's too dry it'll be really thick and you'll have clumps so typically i take the drawers out of the chest before painting but i still have stuff in it and i was just lazy i was using this dresser as my work dresser for a very long time see here just how much coverage we got from only applying the first layer of paint pretty cool that's why I really like using this Waverly really paint inch I believe they're 14 or 16 inch I'll double check and put that in the video but I bought these legs they were long and they looked amazing but they're entirely too long for the desk it looked disproportional and it was not a good look so I feel I still put in me painting them because I ended up painting the shorter legs the same way pretty much This was my first time attempting to stencil the inside um, of the drawers and it was fairly simple so I would definitely be doing this again and uh, pretty much you just let the paint dry and this paint dries very fast like I said before um, and then try to get the stencils right where you want them. I will say it's best to use very thick paint. Don't put a lot of water in your brush. I ran into a little bit of an issue with that. See, this is the issue I was talking about earlier. I do love how it came out, however, there was a little bit too much water on my paintbrush and you can see that it uh, interrupted the design there. So I went back and cleaned that up. Somehow I didn't get a shot of the actual can, but I'm using the Dixie Bell best dang <laughs> clear wax to seal my furniture. Drawer bottom was a little bit out of place so I'm just using a staple gun here and folding in the staples. The gold hardware that I wanted to use was not the right size for the holes that were already 
created inside of the drawers. So I had to create more holes and then fill the others with some wooden pegs. And then I'm using a 120 grit to sand after cutting. And as you can see, the silver screws do not go with the um, aesthetic that I'm going for. So I'm just gonna spray paint these screws and put them back in. I edited out a lot of my mistakes. The silver hardware goes with the longer peg legs, the 14 inch or 12 inch, whatever. And they do not go with the short peg legs. So while trying to force it, one of the screws got stuck and thank God there was a backup screw. Just a lot of mistakes, your girl be messing up. really excited about finally purchasing a jigsaw because I had been using this um, actual saw this like it was it's like this big a hand saw I guess you would call it and it was taking me too long so those first pieces of wood you see that I had glued and um, installed for support um, of the peg legs those were cut by hand if you see these muscles you know why now if you've noticed the hardware is not correctly inserted into the wood which I'm about to do now and I did it that way so that when I painted the legs um, I wouldn't get black paint on that wood but I went back later and painted that piece of wood black it just looked better so you want to make sure that you create a hole in your piece of wood with a nail uh, prior to screwing in to avoid splitting the wood following me on IG I am at Sony decor and that's where I put all furniture pictures and I also do like shorter reels and all of that and check out my website and also have an MC shot all of those things will be linked in the description box below make sure that you subscribe 